Kyle, thank you so much for being here. How are you? Rachel Goodman, hello. Thank you for being in the love show. How are you, Rachel? Bianca, hello. Siberia, welcome. Pinky, hi. Lover, how are you, Siberia? It's the first time I see you in the daylight ever? Bianca, well, welcome to the daylight. We're in the love ship in the daytime. It's, we have snow. We're covered, the love ship is covered in snow. Teresa, hello. Pinky, hi. TJ, welcome. Hannah Banana, hi. The notorious FIG, thank you for being here. Hannah, how are you? My special talent is not TikTok appropriate. How are you? I'm great, Rachel. How are you? Keep the snow. Um, I have the windshield melting right now. I don't, I don't want it. A sweeter than sweet tea. Thank you for the follow. We're melting it. My friend can burp on command. I can also do that, TJ. Lisa Davis, hello. La Hota, thank you for being here. Thank you for all those likes. How is everybody? What y'all got going on? Wait, how? What do you mean, how? You're so cute? Thank you, Pinky. Where do you think you're going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing the love ship. I'm doing the love ship and then I'm chilling for the rest of the day. I only have to, I have to edit two more videos and then I'm done for the day, you know? Actually, I still have to work out. Two more videos, I have to work out and then I'm done for the day. Linnea, hello, how are you? How do you burp on command? Um, you just swallow air, you know? I feel, you feel crunchy today? What do you mean crunchy? Ron, thank you for being here. Leslie, welcome. Is this swallowing air just breathing now? No. Swallowing and breathing aren't the same. Oh, choose me. Carla, hi. J. Roy, welcome. Andy, hello. You know, like sometimes you breathe in water and you choke. That's different than swallowing water, you know, TJ? User 71, hello. How are you, Mimi? Melinda, welcome. Demonstrate because I'm so confused. I'm not going to burp on command, bro. <laughs> Tony, hello. Ashley Diaz, thank you for being here. MJ, hi. Hello, April. How have you been? A rabbit, hello. Samantha, welcome. Thank you for being here. But hey, you kind of just swallow air. You know? It's, it's one of those skills you have to learn when you're like seven years old. It can't, it can't just happen in your adulthood. Why do guys, why do guys have a fear of committing? So guys don't have a fear of committing, April. People who have a fear of committing are avoidance, either dismissive or fearful avoidance. It's not a guy thing and it's not a, it's not a woman thing. It's, it has nothing to do with your gender. That's why I hate gender-based advice. If you're following anybody who's just gives gender-based advice, unfollow them, you know? Come to your boy Super Ken. We give real advice here. We give real advice based off, off of psychology here. Not off of um, some man versus woman bullshit, you know? h Bob, welcome. <laughs> Star-Lord. <laughs> Reggie, for sure. How will, how will I know he will commit when he commits April? If he's not committing after two months, a red flag. Kmart Star Lord, look, say what you will, but um, Kmart is overpriced. So that's not um, quite, that's not qu quite an insult. Juan, hello, Denise, welcome. HBO, how are you? He started to take things fast with me, then then got scared. Uh, well, that sounds possibly fearful, April. That's that's better, Reggie. Dollar Tree, Dollar and a 25 Tree, Star-Lord. We'll deal with that one. We'll go with that one. Houdin, hello. Hi, Reginald. So he's he's committing fast, and then he gets scared. Sounds possibly a fearful avoidant. This is just wrong. The love ship in the, in the live stream. Will he commit if he's fearful? Um, it'll take him time. It'll take him some time. 
Um, fearful avoidance are the most frustrating attachment style to deal with. Don't recommend. Do not recommend dating fearful avoidance. Because there's no winning with them. They, they have both attachment styles at once. Ken, I love you and I miss you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Casey. I haven't leave. Ken, did you... Did you go north or south? I'm in Ohio. I didn't go anywhere. Hello, Brittany. Thank you so much for being here. Um, why are fearful avoidance the most frustrating to date? Because they have both going on at the same time. Um, a fearful avoidant is in this... They're trapped in, in this conundrum of being afraid of commitment, being bored of healthy people, which leaves them with just avoidance and narcissists to date. So they, they, they self-sabotage. And it's an endless cycle. If you're healthy, dating a fearful avoidant, they're going to find you boring. If you're trying to rush to commitment, they're going to think you're clean. You know, you're anxious, they're going to think you're clean. You're secure, they're going to think you're boring. It just leaves them with avoidance and narcissists who are going to make them chase. That's why it's frustrating. If you love a fearful avoidant, you literally have to play games to get it to work. You have, you have to gameplay. You have to give them space when you don't want to give them space. If they're, if they're getting fearful and wanting to run, you kind of have to just chill. You have to pull back. You know, when they pull back, you pull back. You kind of have to just keep to yourself, and it's that's frustrating. It's very frustrating. So look for those red flags in the beginning and just don't deal with it. Just don't deal with it. There's no way that you love somebody that fast. So um, appreciate appreciate the red flags that they're throwing out in the beginning and just don't waste your time. They, they have some healing to do. People who have a fearful avoidant attachment style usually also have a CPTSD. Uh, hey, CPTSD. They have CPTSD um, and they need to go to therapy and heal that. They're not ready for a relationship. What the heck happened? I, th I thought you were leaving. You thought wrong. Love you too. How are you, Michael? Charlie, thank you so much for following the left ship is impact either. What is going on? The left ship is impact. I'm in Ohio. My iridescent thing is so much for the follow. Alanis, how are you? Everyone who's new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. Don't tap that screen. Follow me on Instagram at Superken Gaming. Drop those queries. I'll follow you back. Hello, Johnny. Become a love ranger. Click the star. Subscribe. You're welcome, April. You're also in Ohio. What happened to you, Heavenly? You why didn't you why didn't you leave? Rafa, welcome. Fictitious, hello. Hello, Mallory, how are you? Anna Spanish eyes, welcome. Hi, I'm new here. How are you? How are you, handsome? I'm great. How are you, Ratch? I decided to wait until Monday because I'm not done and I don't want to be AWOL until Sunday. Thanks so much for clicking my little heart person DM me. What's AWOL? Do, do fearful ever ghost? Do fearful attachment ghost all the time? <laughs> they ghost all the time. Fear, fearful are typically the type to. Like, everything seems good, and then they just fall off the face of the earth, and they come back, like, a week or two later, and they apologize. Like, oh, I'm sorry. This happened. Like, they always have excuses. They ghost and have all these excuses on why they ghosted. So, they ghost a lot. Fearful fearful avoidance would probably be the most guilty of ghosting. But they're also the rarest attachment style. Kimmer, thank you so much for clicking my little heart person. So, you're, it's not likely you'll run into a fearful avoidant, but if you do... They, they need therapy. They need, they need to heal. How are you, handsome? I'm great, Tammy. How are you? I won't be AOL. Absent without leave military. Well, sorry that I'm not a military person, Heavenly. He hasn't ghosted you yet. Well, that's good. Sarah, hi. April, if you really like this guy and he's giving fearful vibes, um, 
the best advice for you is just to pull back when he pulls back. Don't chase. Never chase a fearful. Never chase a fearful avoidant. They will run forever. Payola high. You know, you have to almost... You have to, you have to almost treat them as if they're an abused dog that you adopted from a shelter. Like, they want to love you, but they're scared. They're scared to love you. They don't want to be abused again. So... If they want to run into a corner, let them. Just let them run. And chill. You know, when when you're ready for love again, I'll be here. Lexi, thank you for being here. Omar, welcome. Laura, hello. How oft, how often should you... As a recovering CPTSD person who's in therapy and not dating, this is true. Um, how often should you give a guy space... Um, we have to we have to give people space as much as they need it. However, if you feel like that space is infringing on the growth of your relationship and you feel like the amount of space somebody needs or is asking for is unfair for you, communicate that. Communicate your need for more time together. But nobody's nobody's need for closeness or for space outweighs the other. Both of your needs are important. So find some compromise. If you're dating somebody who likes every weekend to themselves. A compromise would be like, look, have half your weekends, give me the other half. Awesome, I can do that. Find a compromise, something that you can both be happy with. I've been here, ha been there, had to let him go. John Olson, I'm great, how are you? Thank you so much for the follow, John. And the talking stage. The talking stage should be the least amount of space <laughs> that there is. Michael, you love me. Thank you. If there's space in the talking stage, they're probably not interested in dating, period, or there's somebody else. You know, there should there should be, like, no space in the talking stage. <laughs> I would say let that person go and let them get therapy first. I agree, Heavenly. Like, they need to at least actively be in therapy and realize they have CPTSD, for example, and that they're working on it, and they're able to recognize when they're being triggered, and they can communicate that to you, and they can... They can manage it because we're all we're all lovable. We don't need to be perfect before we're lovable. As long as we're working on ourselves, as long as we can communicate what we're going through, that's what's important. I've never been to Mexico, La Hakiesta. You're so cute. Well, thank you, Michael. Morgan, hi. User seventy four. Thank you so much for being here. RC, welcome. Clean guy 13 thank you so much for being here. Everyone who's new here, click the bell button. I appreciate it so much. Boomer girl, welcome. Is is Jay. Oh, a ja, ja Casita. La Ja Casita. Mike, welcome. Well, we need to be here. Lou, welcome. Maurice, 37. Hi. <sighs> what do I look for in a man? Um, KitchenAid, Whiskey Jones. What you should look for in a man is just somebody who cares about you. You know, you want, you want somebody who just wants to love you and cares how you need to be loved and cares when they're hurting you. That's what you need to look for in a man. Get your, get your main whiskey, Jones. You're handsome. Well, thank you, John. I'm in a relationship, but I do have PTSD and ADHD. Jennifer, as long as you're working on yourself, love that for you. Miss Karma, welcome. Goddess, hello. J Mom Six, thank you so much for being here. Hello, my love. Tammy Kennedy seven seven six. Hi. Exactly. Hello. Shadap. Hi. How are you, Tammy? If a guy was in a relationship. And has been single for two months. Is he ready for another? Single for two months is a decent amount of time. I would say so. 
I feel like two months... Two months is a good time. Two months is a good amount of time. I would I would probably say we need at least a month and a half of not being in a relationship after a breakup. Just to, just to be, be single for a little bit. You know, a month and a half at least of reflecting and working on yourself. Christy, hi. Some healing, you know, get ready. Get ready to feel again. Because it's not fair for the other person. Like, you could find your f perfect person and just not be ready to feel again and... You're going to lose them. You're going to ruin it. So just breathe. Breathe for a month and a half at least. And then get back out there. Thank you for likes, everyone. HSNVA, thank you for being here. Team Money, welcome. John, thank you for that follow. Alexa G, how are you? James J, welcome. Share hello. I'm doing great, Alexa. Thank you for asking. Yeah, what you said, I think so too. The last, the last part. Why not? How's your Saturday? Alexa, my Saturday is great. How's yours? When I told him that, I think he got a little scared. Um, he got scared that that you have been single for two months. And he hi. Don't show you welcome. Hello, Tyler. Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Dolce, hello. Dolce, thank you for those roses. I got scared that I'd I'd move on to the next person. Got you. Hi, Amber. Essex, welcome. Because he'll ruin the opportunity if he doesn't take it. Got you. Diana, hello. Well, April, if you really like him, be patient with him. Talk about it. It's going good. Is it bad to be assertive by asking guys for their number, or th should they do it first? Alexa, ask for the number. You know, yellow. We only live once. And your person, your soulmate, isn't going to be like, ugh, I would have totally married Alexa, but she asked for my number instead of letting me ask for it. So now I can't marry her. He's not going to say that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who makes the first move. If you like them, go for it. Yes, I am, but I, I just don't want to waste my time. Carol, hello. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome, Alexa. Eric, thank you so much for being here. Lil Boo, thank you for being here. Pagey, hello. How are you, Paige? Paige, what have you been up to? Thank you for being here. Karina, hello. Tania Vargas, hi. Thank you for being here. Hello, I'm doing good. Haven't been been by a vid in a while. Well, Paige. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being in the in the love shop. How have you been? Oh, you said you're doing good. What have you been up to? To see you. Hi. Thank you for those likes, everybody. All the best. The boyfriend officially asked my parents for permission to propose. Oh, shit. Did they say no? <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, Jasmine. How are you? Lul, Lul thank you for being here. And I just got promoted to a regional position at work. Well, Paige, look at you go. All the, your life is going so great. I'm so happy for you. It's nice to see you again. Rolo J4, how are you? Grinsler, hi. 
Michael Hello. He even likes everybody. A shiny pumpkin, hi. Nexus God 200, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations, Pains. Jasmine, you're so sweet. Jasmine up in here just loving on everyone, and we love that. Michelle B, hi. Things have been genuinely awesome. It's honestly like I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Well, Paige, I hope no shoes drop ever. I think, I hope things just keep getting better and better for you. Andrea, hi. Thank you for the taps and likes, everybody. Lisa, the bow, 828, hello. Same, thank you. How about you? How have you been? Miss, missed you. Well, Paige, I've been great. Thank you so much for asking. <coughs> Things are great here. Chris TY28, hi. Salil, welcome. Kali for love, thank you for being here. Catherine, hello. Heading down to Brewdog in Canal, Tennessee. You ever been? I've never been to Tennessee in my entire life. I don't think I've ever even drove through Tennessee. What's that bird, what's that bird noise? Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's a rooster. Hi, Apple user. Hello, Brian. Tennessee. Oh, tonight, Ohio. <laughs> Brewdog in Canal. I don't. I don't know what that is. Page. I don't know where Brewdog in Ohio is. <laughs> I've never been there. Beautiful state. Tennessee is a beautiful state. Howdy. Hello, Colin. Howdy. Thanks for being here. Hi, Amy. What are you doing here in the day? I'm getting the love ship out of the way, and I'm chilling tonight. Mita, hello. What relationship advice we getting into? Um, what kind of advice you want? There's like there's like four, but I, <laughs> I do love Tennessee. Now I've never been to Brew Dog. What kind of food is it? M Hart, thank you so much for being here. M, thank you for that follow. Sarah B, hello. I want to ask for, for some advice. I was wondering if I can go live with you and we talk about it. Um, I don't do lives with people. Colin, I'm sorry. But you can ask here. And if any any of you need advice that's personal, they need one-on-one. -on -one. Book a phone call, book a FaceTime link in the bio. It's a brew brewery. They do have good sandwiches. Got you. Um, I hope you have fun. Hey, love corgis. How are you, Sobe? User 14, thank you for those likes. Angela, hi. Braxton G, welcome. Kit Kat, hi. How are you, Braxton? You're just okay, Braxton? Why are you just okay? I'm doing great. What's going on, Braxton? Randy, welcome. The girls, hi. Rahel Holton, how are you? What are little things that make men feel seen and heard when venting, etc.? I'm curious if it's different. Um, being seen and heard... <coughs> It depends more so on the attachment style than it does being a man or woman. Um, I feel like in general, people like to hear their point said back to them. So if you're having a conversation, it's important that you do your best to try to understand what they're saying and repeat it back to them. What I'm hearing is you feel this way. What I'm hearing is you're saying this. That helps people in general feel seen and heard when you quite literally repeat what they said back to them so that they can correct you or be like, oh, 
you're listening. Like you're, you're caring. You're, hear, like you're hearing what I'm saying. So that's a great tip if you feel like you're struggling with your partner feeling seen or heard. Is just literally repeat what they're saying back to them in a way that you're comprehending it. You look great, by the way. Well, thank you, Jasmine. Well, I'm crushing on someone who has a girlfriend. I want to support him in his relationship. However, you didn't thank you for the follow. Boyfriend's been having a hard time at work. He vents a lot. And I want to I want to say I want to stay helpful in him letting it out. Got you, Paige. So in that the way in venting of how can you how can you have your partner feel seen or heard when it when it comes to venting? I feel like when when I'm venting, I care more about feeling heard than I care about feeling seen. If I'm venting to a friend, I don't want to feel seen. I don't want them to relate to me. I don't want them to I don't want them to tell me a story about the time that they were in that situation. Like I don't want their their empathy. I want them to just hear me. Let me vent and just be like, "Yeah, like re <sighs> Reassure, reassure me in 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 how I'm feeling. You like <sighs> repeat my feelings. Give me give me cognitive empathy versus emotional empathy. And I'm gonna do a video on different types of empathy. I already shot it. I just have to edit it and post it. So there's cognitive empathy. There's emotional empathy. So cognitive empathy is understanding of how you could be there. Like, yeah, the situation sounds awful. Like I could only imagine. That's the kind of empathy I want. To, I want to experience when I'm ranting or when I'm venting. I don't want emotional empathy where you're you're feeling for me and you're relating it to something you've been through. Like I don't want that, and I don't want you to, you to problem solve unless I ask for it. So it can. It can be a moment when your boyfriend comes home from work and he's had a rough day and you can just be like, you know, let's sit down and just, just tell me all about it, you know, and just rub his head, scratch his back, give him a massage while he just rants. I feel like that's a great way to deal with venting. Just let him go off. And if he, if he says something like, and I don't know what to do about it, then you can be like, oh, would you like to hear about how I feel about it. So a, a way that I feel like I would solve the issue. And if he's like, yeah, like, how, like, what would you do? What, what would you do Paige? And then share advice for long distance with demanding careers. KD, you have demanding careers that are taking you apart. I would recommend FaceTimes every single night before bed. Like you got, if you have long distance because of your career, FaceTimes are so important. Phone calls are so important. Literally, every chance you get to breathe while you're apart, try, try to spend that on your partner. I would, I would try to get space when I'm with my partner versus when I'm away from my partner. If we have demanding careers keeping us apart, so it, if you're somebody who feels suffocated and needs a little space in person, sure, play your video games, play golf, go go to the bar with the boys, go to brunch with the girls, whatever it is. When you're together and living together and you've been together for a week, a couple weeks, but when your careers are tearing you apart, do your best to give your free time to your partner is the best advice I could give for that. Sometimes people just want to vet and, and be heard without commentary. I'm like that. How's your day? Braxton, my, my day is good. It's good to hear different sides because I'm quick to try and relate, but I know not everyone's like that. Do you want advice or just yours? Facts. That's a that's a great way to to approach that. What do I do if my partner is married with kids? Absolutely, I do that. I recently got got love bomb. What do I do if my partner is married with kids? Is it empathetic for me to continue the relationship? Is your is your partner separated with kids or married with kids? If your partner is separated, then that's your partner. I recently got love bombed. It was so obvious I didn't fall for it. 
then he goes two months later, so glad I didn't catch feelings. The input. Well, thank you, Paige. Med student slash surgery uh, resident in real estate, so timing is, timing is rough, damn. I hope, thank you so much for the follow. Been there and learn, learned a lot from it and left. We got this. Mercy, thank you for being here. Do you thank you so much for the follow? How are you? Mercy, welcome. Gerald, thank you for those likes, Gerald. Hi, Alex. What's the most romantic thing you've heard, seen, or done for a partner? The most romantic thing I've heard from a partner. Lorena, hello. Um, the most romantic thing that I've heard from a partner is... Um, my girlfriend the other night, she sent me this TikTok trend and she's like, we should do this, but just for ourselves. And it's like, um, it's, it's, it's these different things. Like, how do you see your partner? How do you see your partner as a place? How do you see your partner as a color? And we, we did like a nice little, a nice little back and forth of, of each, each of the little prompts and just sent pictures. And we did a paragraph of why we feel that way about, about each other. And it was sweet. You know, it's, it's nice. It's nice to hear how your partner feels about you and how they feel about you with, with such random things like places and colors. I, th I thought it was really, really adorable. Braxton, thank you so much for the ball. Brooke, hi. C star high. M Ember Isha twelve. Thank you for being here. But an actual sentence. Can I think of an actual sentence of the the most romantic thing I've heard somebody say? I'll have to sit on it. <laughs> Brandon, thank you for being here. Jack, welcome. But if everybody else wants to share the sweetest things they've ever heard, let me know. Share with the class. Shelly, hello. <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> Shelly, hi. Ali, thank you for being here. Jamie, welcome. Val, 13, Leo. Thank you for being here. Or Valileo. The Stacy Scott, thank you for being here. Hi, Gina. Charlie, welcome. Nabibi, hello. Jules, hi. Dakota Shepherd, thank you for being here. Rat. RT Alva, thank you for being here. Andrea, hi. I'm going to be on here for like 12 more minutes. Hi from Texas, Andrea from Texas. Thanks for being here. Tina Springs, hello. Sherry Turner, welcome. Faith, hello. And Beth, welcome. Mary Fabella 3, Sherry, hello. David, hi. Sean, welcome. Libby, thank you for being here. Raina, hi. Dan, hello, Mr. Superman. And Beth, hello, how are you?
Reggie, welcome. Hello, Scott. Thank you for being here. Gummies and Brad, hello. Susan Eves, hi. Anthony, welcome. Kaylee, welcome. How are you? Christy, hello. Thank you for the taps, everyone. How are you, Kaylee? Everyone who's new here, please click that follow button. Follow me on Instagram, at Gaming. Drop those quarries for your boy. Make those quarries shake their ass, I'll follow you back. Hello, Dale. User 69, welcome. Hi, Sarah. Mimi, hello. Hi, Julie. Happy Lou G X, hello. T, welcome. Hi, Mike Smith. Austin, welcome. So answering these questions affect your mental health? Always take care of yourself. No, I love answering these questions, Braxton. If anything, answering these questions um, improves my mental health. It Sometimes it's a lot of self-reflection. Sometimes it helps me to answer questions. Sometimes I'll be answering questions for people and realize I'm answering questions for myself. Fun fact, is it? Fun fact, it is illegal to fish for whales on a, on a Sunday in Ohio. <laughs> well, damn, there goes my plans for tomorrow. It's a pretty cool action. Well, thank you, Preston. Melina, thank you for those likes. I was going to totally fish for whales tomorrow, but now I can't. Thank you for letting me know that, Amy. Arellis, hello. Kira Leon, welcome. Marty M, welcome. OMG Bello, Kira, thank you. Thank you for being here. Sorry, sorry for ruining your plans. Hi, Rose. Twister Jim 27, welcome. The Wise Family, hello, Lori, how are you? I need some advice while well, Kiki. I'm here for you. You need, girl. Yeah, dear, welcome. Oh, hey, I'm not seeing anything from you in ages, Ken. How are you doing? Well, Lori, I'm great. I'm posting so much more now, Lori. Nelson, hi. The boy's back. The boy's back to posting. Where would you find a whale in Ohio anyway? <laughs> I'm just bad with geography, though. Uh, probably like a Walmart. Twister, thank you so much for the follow. It's great to hear. Well, Lori, thanks for, thanks for um, enjoying to hear that, you know? Thanks for your excitement on Supercam videos. Thank you for the likes, everybody. I'm dating a sweet guy. That's everything I want. But my ex that I still care about wants to get back together. Brooke, hello. You're dating a sweet guy. That's everything that you want. But your ex that you still care about wants to get back together. Kiki, why did you and your ex break up? Bananas high. Marcy, hello. Lindsay, welcome. What did you say? I said, why did you and your ex break up? That wants to get back with you. Lindsay, thank you so much for clicking my little heart person. So I don't recommend changing a car battery with long nails. Because I didn't want to move in with him at the time. 
he broke up with you because you didn't want to move in with him and you still care about him? Rosie, hello. And you're with somebody now. How long have you been with the person that you're with now? I don't know, Kiki. Honestly, you should do the new guy a favor and leave him. It was an hour away, just a couple of weeks. You should do the new guy a favor and leave him because clearly you have your door cracked open. And the guy you're with sounds like a great guy. Let him, let him find somebody who's not going to leave the door cracked open for access, Kiki. That'd be my advice. Brina, welcome. Mia, hello. Justina, thank you for Brina. I'm not really trying to. You've tried. It's enough for you to know that he wants you back. Hi from Kentucky, Brina. Hello. Tiff, welcome. I just wanted a second opinion. Yeah, Kiki. I would I would spare the new guy. <laughs> because it seems like it seems like you're leaving your options open, and that's not fair to him. If he's a great guy, let him be let him be great to somebody who doesn't want their options open. All my friends say stay with stay with this guy. If your friends are staying stay with this guy, what are we missing from, from the old guy? My advice is to love the man who loves you. Don't love the man who loves you on his terms. Oh no. You got way more snow than us. We're covered in snow. And I want and I want to stay with him seriously. <laughs> Not, nothing really. So you want to stay with the new guy. Okay, Kiki. If you're going to stay with the new guy, I need you to close the door on your past completely. Block him. Block your ex. If he wants you, it's none of your business. If your ex that you care about wants you back, and but you want to stay with this new guy, close the door. Lock it. Let him want you from a distance and you have no idea about it. That would be my advice if you want to work things out with the new guy. If you want to stay with him, him, that's good advice. That is good advice. We can't leave the doors unlocked. It's going to get broken into. Arizona, hello. Treat your relationship like a home. No open windows, no unlocked doors. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Joan, thank you for the likes. Man, I don't even have a door anymore. <laughs> You're just letting anyone in, Amy. I, I never lock my door. We need to start locking your door. Rachel, thank you for being here. Everyone who's near here, click that follow button. I appreciate it so much. Follow me on Instagram, at SuperKenGaming. Drop those corgis and I'll follow you back. I'm trying to lock mine. Do it, girl. That's all you gotta do. You know, block him. Block your axe. <laughs> I'm not sure where the keys are. DM, thank you for being here. Birdie, welcome. The new guy wants me to meet his family, and he invited me to his sister's wedding. And you're over here being like, oh, should I get back with my ex? Kiki. Girl. We know better, Kiki. Mary, hi. I went out, you went out with a 23-year-old last night. Well, congratulations. Dolce, thank you for being here. Buttercup 65, hello. I might answer even though, even though I knew it. Good. Good, Kiki. Hi, Pixie. I'd be lecturing more. <laughs> I dropped every guy I was talking to. Good. Jawline that could end careers. My door is closed so I can do some soul searching by myself for my sake and my future partners. Braxton, I thought you had a crush on somebody with a girlfriend. <laughs> Hello, Maria. Your hair looks so much more brown in the daylight. It's metallic brown. That's literally its color. Luna Records, hello. 
It's literally a metallic brown. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate it. Southern Girl 2014, thank you for being here. Amber, hello. It's Roxanne Cook, welcome. I love your content. Well, thank you, Kiki. I appreciate that. Jessica, hello. You're Ken. I am Ken Maria. And you're Maria. But I refuse to be the reason he's unhappy. Well, Braxton, I love that. I love that you have restraint to not mess with his relationship. He's just a friend. I stopped dating. I hate everyone. Oh, he's just a friend. Well, Tiff. It didn't sound like it was just a friend. Would you chug us would you chug a sprite and burp on a live? I would not do that. I would not no. He's super can. I am super can. Capricorn. Hello. Alicia, welcome. How are you, Capricorn? Edwin, welcome. Your boy's gonna be getting off of here soon. Thank you for hanging out with me, everybody. If you have any um if you have any questions before I get off. Drop them. Now's your chance. Now's your chance to drop your questions because I'm getting off here very soon. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Superken Gaming. Follow me here if you're new. If you need a phone call, if you need a FaceTime, a one on one with me, book one. Book a phone call, book a FaceTime. Link tree in the bio. He doesn't want to want to be but standards. I'm just Ken. Okay, so ask. It sounds like a fun Ken. I'm from Miami. People here are horrible. Maria, people in Miami are horrible. I get it. I would not want to be single in Nashville, Miami, Los Angeles, New York. No, thank you. Maybe maybe New York's not that bad. But L.A., Tennessee, not Tennessee, Nashville, Vegas, Miami. No, thank you. Don't want to be single there. So I'm getting married in August, but not living with my husband until next year. I would if I was ridiculously attractive and had a following... I would find uh, charming. <laughs> is that weird? Is it weird that you're getting married, but you're not going to be living with him for next until next year? No, that's not weird. Whatever works for you guys. Is 10 months too soon to talk about being serious? 10 months is too late to be talking about being serious. <laughs> you should be talking about being serious within like two months. What, do, what does being serious mean to you? Like engagement or boyfriend, girlfriend? He's a singer with an adorable dimples. Yeah, I was just wondering. Yeah, that's perfectly fine, Capricorn. I'm two weeks in and we're meeting families. Hi, Megan. Hmm? Braxton, thank you for those likes. Eric255, hello. It's because we have to figure out the situation with our kid. Yeah. That's great, Capricorn. It's great that you're all figuring that out. April, hello. Dang, I can't even let them meet my kids three months in. Um, if you're talking engagement, I feel like engagement sooner than a year is too soon. If you're talking boyfriend and girlfriend serious, that should be two months or less. We each have a kid with someone else. We were already boyfriend and girlfriend, but serious to me means that we actually see a future together as a marriage. Yeah. Ten months? I mean, it's not it's not that soon to start thinking about it. That's a that's a fine ish area to be in. Well not my kids, just parents. But not like right then and there. Um, but I'm gonna get off of here. Thank you so much for hanging out. You guys fell into my lap. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new here, click the follow button. Follow me on Instagram at Gaming. Bye. I'll see you Monday. Bye, everybody.